the herd instinct is powerful and when the herd moves, it moves. Therefore, Rishi Sunak and Liz Truss will be the candidates going forward to a final ballot of Conservative Party members. Hasta la vista, baby. Thank you. Welcome to Westminster, a desperate, inhuman wilderness on the very fringes of civilization itself. Survival is the only law here, brutal and bloody survival. Back in the midst of time, Westminster was the natural home of the apex predator. The magnificent Churchill, the ebullient Macmillan, and of course, the resplendent Thatcher, the very alphas of their species. The ladies not for turning. And as part of a natural law, as old as time itself, these big beasts would lend protection in turn to the lesser animals in the Westminster jungle. But time and a rapidly transforming environment beyond the control of man or beast has changed all of that. Ladies and gentlemen, we're leaving Downing Street for the last time. This self-same Westminster jungle is almost the sole preserve of the pack animal, intent on only one thing, survival. Or not, it's up to him. In this brutal, unforgiving environment, needless luxuries like loyalty can spell doom. And when the pack feels threatened, it'll turn without hesitation on the very leader it chose for protection. To serve the country I love. These animals are members of the Torius Parliamentarius family, capable of working in concert to bring down even the mightiest of beasts. You've got Boris Johnson and David Davis, and you've got Dominic Raab and Esther McVeigh, you've got Penny Morton. Take the case of Canis Major, an alpha beast known affectionately as the Boris. When times were good and votes were plentiful, this big dog, this Boris ruled the Westminster jungle unopposed. He has easily seen off a challenge from a member of the Laboris Minor tribe, the Corbinus Stupidus, which is now bordering on extinction. Today, Boris is in retreat, savaged by his own pack and forced to surrender the field to lick his wounds. You have sat there too long for all the good you have done. In the name of God, go. So what went so wrong for the big dog? When he took control of the pack, his successes were manifold. He repeatedly locked horns with and drove out the highly invasive Europa uniosis, a rapacious non-native species threatening to take over not just the Westminster jungle, but the entire surrounding ecosystem. And when the entire pack faced an existential threat of an unknown virus felling the strong and weak alike, the Boris herded them into their burrows until they were collectively strong enough to return to their usual hunting grounds. And we will continue to, to look at all the, the data as we, uh, as, we, as we progress. Later, with a honed instinct for collective security, the Boris went into battle with a neighbouring pack of Zelenskys, who were under attack from an army of Bastardis Putinsky, threatening the safety of the entire jungle. So why, with all this success, would the pack turn on their leader? It hinges, as it so often does, on the watering hole and drinking pecking order. The Westminster jungle famously has an excess of watering holes, meaning no animal need ever go thirsty. But there are laws of the jungle, and the Boris was accused of breaking them by drinking in the wrong place at the wrong time. And I accept in all sincerity that people had the right to expect better. Though some remained loyal, many members of the previously benign pack turned without warning. 
first snapping at their leader's heels, then going in for the kill. Ultimately, this king of the jungle was left with no choice but to retreat, retiring to the depths of the parliamentary wilderness to recover. All that matters, all that ever matters in the Westminster jungle is survival, survival of the pack. And yet there is a twist in this tale. Nature does not stand still. She famously abhors a vacuum and there must be a new leader. So we have eight candidates uh, duly nominated. But before this alpha emerges, there must be elaborate mating rituals. Yeah. How do you think he went last night? Now, I was really pleased to be able to make the positive case for my candidacy. These rituals, as old as time itself, have now been running for weeks. Potential leaders seem to hide themselves away during the day, then emerge in the early evening to present themselves to the pack. Their interaction, an elaborate dance. I the windfall tax as Chancellor, yes. and I'm glad that I did, Would because it, it was the right thing to do. Uh, so... Finally, one of the contenders, Chancellorus Sanaki, rolls over, supine and silent, while the victor, Trusida Lysimus, takes her rightful place at the head of the pack. Life, it seems, may turn out to be tougher than ever for this Trusida. Resources are scarcer than they have been for years, but the pack okay. remains confident she is the one to lead them to sunnier, safer, more bountiful uplands. The future is now in her hands.